more maintenance, more maintenance, more maintenance. <clears throat> Seems like every single weekend I have a little something to do on this truck. Today I'm replacing this crankcase filter. And a couple of other little things that should take me about, I don't know, about an hour, something like that. But I always harp on doing your own maintenance. And it's not as hard as people think. And it will, you know, people, you know, right off the bat, they think <clears throat> that it's going to be difficult. Um, and some things are, some things you shouldn't try. But uh, people just assume things are going to be too difficult. And uh, they're just going to leave it up to the mechanic at the TA or the Petro or wherever. And that's fine. I mean... I've, I've done it myself when it was absolutely 100% convenient and needed, but um, these things, most of these things are so easy. And if you pull up to a, a TA or a Petro or any mechanic shop, you already know you're going to be waiting there uh, a long time just to get in there. Then you have uh, some 19 year old kid who doesn't want to be there, who isn't trained to be a mechanic. He was trained to read a diagnostic on a computer, so he's a technician. But they look at the book and say, oh, this is supposed to take an hour. So after you wait three hours to get your truck into the shop, this guy doesn't want to do, you know, the technician comes up, he's not going to do anything more than what's asked of him. So the book says it's going to take an hour. And he knows he can get away with taking an hour to do that repair. Guess what? Even if it takes five minutes, he's going to figure out a way to make it last an hour. He'll be out there texting on his phone or who knows what. All right. I'll show you guys what I'm doing here real quick. So, this is a crankcase filter. Give you guys a bigger view here. Side, it's a driver's side of this Cummins. The crankcase filter is under here. And uh, it just unbolts. has a few bolts in it and comes off. But can't pull it off with this uh, in the way. So, I take these bands off here and move this out of the way. There's nothing, there's no liquid or anything here. But um, it just comes off after you get these bands off here. Move it out of the way, open this, and replace the filter. Easy peasy. Okay, had to run and get a little pry bar. But what I was saying was, I don't know if you guys can see this coming off here. I, uh, <clears throat> There are lots of clamps on this thing, but I loosen them all so that it comes off easier. You don't it doesn't damage anything. Ooh, got some oil in there, but uh, always uh, if you get the right tool for the job, it makes any project so much easier.
right, I'm afraid to see this. I think it's going to be full of oil. I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Okay. Crankcase filter. Pull this bad boy off. Filter's right in there. Oh, it is full of oil. Can you guys see that? My truck, I don't know if you guys know, but it needs to be rebuilt. It uses lots of oil. So I knew this was going to be the case. Uh, and that's why I'm replacing it. <clears throat> Replace it before I have to. I'm going to get a rag and clean that out in there. All right, have a new filter here. If you can, buy your parts online. If you can. Not always able to, but you'll save a ton of money. Oh, we got it upside down. Super simple. <clears throat> I, I did, I took about 60 seconds to clean this out. And just had some oil in the bottom of it. But, um, I do these projects myself filming this whole thing to make a point. Be careful when putting these things back in. This thing really only needs to be hand tight so you don't want to pressure if you're using a power tool. You don't want to strike something. intake oh, you know what it's not oil it's just it looks like oil all right <clears throat> yeah I'm doing this whole thing to prove the point that these things can save you lots and lots of money by doing these simple things yourself guess what if you mess up then you could spend some money and pay somebody to come out and fix it but these simple things like this I'm not sure how long that really took but I'm guessing probably less than 10 minutes if you're at a dealership you would have just paid somebody $180, $200, even at your shade tree mechanic, they're probably going to charge you $100 an hour or more, probably $125. And not only that, but for me, what's more important than paying somebody is my time. Because you're not just going to pop in someplace get this thing done in five minutes and be back on the road. I think, uh, I think we all know that. I, uh, I was in a conversation, a comment section with somebody who is at Landstar and uh, one of the reviews I put out about Landstar versus whatever. 
people get been out of shape or sensitive but I try to put out information that people can use and one of the things I always say about Landstar is they require you to do a, an inspection every quarter it's not DOT that's Landstar but on top of that <clears throat> they require you to go to specific places that are Landstar are approved by Landstar so you can't just pop in any place that does a DOT inspection they have to be approved by Landstar and from my house that's over a hundred miles away in any direction but it's difficult you know depending on what you're doing at Landstar if you're pulling a van you're doing at least three inspections on your truck a year and then three inspections on a van if you happen to keep the same van if you don't you know you get the picture <clears throat> but that's one of the things when I say yeah you're required to do all these inspections and then I have Landstar drivers saying, oh it's not that big of a deal I just pop in and get it done and it's no big deal well it is if you consider the fact that compared to what I'm doing now I get one inspection and I go anywhere to get it I don't have to get a special inspection somewhere. I don't have to submit the paperwork to anybody. But uh, point is, you're not just going to pop in anywhere in any garage and say, "I need this work done," and they're going to stop everything they're doing to jump on your truck because you're in a hurry. Because trust me, you sit in that <laughs> you sit in an office at a mechanic shop like a, a Loves or a TA or Petro. Everybody that comes in there thinks that whatever they're doing is the most important thing. And uh, they want everybody to come out and take care of their truck right away. And Because, you know, one of the first thing everybody asks is, how long is it going to take? So, I consider my time the most important thing. That's why you get the right tools. If you guys haven't seen these, it's a wrench. It has a ratchet on this end. These are super, super awesome. Harbor Freight. Everybody thinks Harbor Freight's crappy stuff. I love it. Getting the right tools makes these jobs so much uh, go so much quicker. I didn't really need to pull all these clamps off of here, but I don't have to, when I do it that way, I don't have to fight this hose or anything to get it back on or off. Or, and guess what? I don't know how long that took. Uh, looks like 14 minutes. 14 minutes. Trust me. I, I, I put my truck in the shop for little things like this when I had no choice. And I guarantee you, I wasn't in and out in 14 minutes. So um, that's done. And what I didn't show you, let me turn this around here. have my air filter in here it's one two three four bolts with this power tool it takes 20 seconds to take those bolts out I pulled that air cleaner out of there I set it face down right here and I smacked it around a little bit blew some air through it and I got about a pound of dirt out of it and I put it back in there and that will extend the life of that air filter by a whole whole lot just a money saving tip there you'll have people say oh you, you can't blow that out you'll damage it well you don't go in there with 100 pounds of psi on your air hose and blow that thing out you will damage it you just take it easy like anything else if you can shake the dust off of it you might as well do it extend the life of it but uh i don't know if you guys can see you have oil everywhere going down the road a couple of days ago 
to look down and my oil pressure was way down. So I stopped and have it on the truck itself. When I got out, I was like, oh my God, what is this? Well, apparently I didn't tighten down this oil cap and uh, it was all blowing oil everywhere. But, but that's it, folks. That was uh, 20 minutes of my time if you just consider changing this crankcase filter. 20 minutes I was done you can do that in a parking lot of a truck stop if you want to uh, it took me about 10 minutes to to blow out that air filter uh, super easy you don't even have to have a blower you can sit that thing on your tire and uh, bounce it up and down and you'll get a lot of dust out of there if you do that I know once a month um, you know try not to beat it up too bad but shake some dust out of there you'll extend the life of that thing that that was a the air filter right there was over 100 bucks so 